Okay, and then the last element we want to pull in is the little butterfly. So I'm going to go file open, click on big butterfly, and we want to cut this out of the background. Now, because this is against the blue sky, it makes it quite easy to cut out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the eyedropper, which is I on your keyboard, select this blue color here, and then go select color range. And because that is the color that I selected before I even went in here, you'll see it's actually done most of the work for me. Um, yeah, I really don't even need to do anything else. I can just hit OK. I've got fuzziness on 53 and range on 10%. Let's hit OK. Let's add a mask. Um, now I actually want the mask to be the opposite. So let's do Command Z. What I can do is I can hold down Option and click on the mask, and it'll mask it the opposite to my selection. Now I'm going to hit Option and click on the mask itself, and I just want to do a curve first on the mask. And you see these gray areas here? I want those to be black, so I'm just going to drag the bottom of this over a bit to about there. Okay, and then what I want to do is go around here and you'll see there's a few kind of gray spots in here. I basically want to just fill those with white. Like that, fill with white, and then do the opposite in the black area. Go all around it, stay within the black, then inverse our selection, just shift command I, and then fill that with black. There you go. Now if I option click on this, we have the butterfly cut out. I convert that to a smart object, and then drag that in here.